What's up, y'all? This is a short about the Ecobee Premium and my issues that I had with it and why I switched to the Nest. I know nothing about HVAC systems, so correct me in the comments, but we live in a tri-level home. And this Ecobee here always got the humidity level wrong. The humidity was always 20% off when compared to other hygrometers in the household. We had HVAC guys come through and just put, seal the hole in the wall. He did it with solid heavy duty duct tape. Not sure if that was the good thing. He probably should use some putty. But nonetheless, after all the tweaks and all that stuff. The Ecobee Premium still had the humidity level above 20%, which wasn't ideal when we were trying to use the Ecobee Premium to set the humidity to be at least below 50% or try to go below 50% using the humidification settings, and it just didn't work out. Fast forward, I got the Nest Premium, <laughs> Premium, the Nest uh, fourth gen learning thermostat. Humidity levels were on point to the, with the hygrometers and everything just worked better and it looks better. So if you live in a tri-level home and your Ecobee Premium thermostat happens to be just under the attic and next to the return vent in the upstairs hallway, maybe this isn't for you if that's the location of where your thermostat is. And no, I could not relocate it because I don't want to spend money to relocate this thermostat. So the Nest thermostat just worked better. Is your experience the Ecobee, Pre Ecobee Premium? Do you prefer it over the Nest Gen 4? Do you like its smart speakers even though it's not really that necessary? Leave a comment below. Let's talk.